Hi, my name is Thomas Lorenzo. I work at ARM in the IoT line of business, and welcome to the ARM booth. Uh, so here, the embedded world is pretty much the ARM world, right? Everybody is doing new ARM projects here. There's a lot of new announcements also. Yes, super excited about the partner announcement this year. We've seen several partner announcements in the, in the MCU world, such as the, the ST microcontrollers, which were announced. Also, Renesis is showing off the Cortex-M85, which is one of the, well, the highest performance uh, M-class uh, CPU we, we have to offer. So really pushing the boundaries of, of performance for, for machine learning, for signal processing, but also for, for regular scalar workloads. There's a lot of demand from some uh, parts of the embedded world to get more performance on all these microcontrollers. Yeah, we're definitely seeing several trends, right, driving more compute capabilities at the edge, right? There is certainly machine learning, as I said. You, you find demos around uh, voice-activated door locks, for example, which is quite, quite interesting. We find demos around uh, connected motor control, uh, integrating machine learning into that for, for predictive maintenance. But also at the high end of the, of the spectrum, definitely more applications around machine vision, uh, integrated also uh, machine learning capabilities into that, so basically running a multi-core uh, Cortex-A based system. I saw some booths that were talking about Cortex-M and GPUs and yes. stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. No, we definitely see uh, vision and, and, and graphics becoming more interesting uh, also in the MCU world, so doing things like uh, uh, smart displays in, in, in appliances, for example, so that's certainly um, where GPUs are now extending into the microcontroller world as well. Very excited about and that. And Cortex-M with AI? With Cortex-M with AI, absolutely as well, yes. So, so there is, uh, as I mentioned, the Cortex-M85 from Renesas that's integrating now the Helium technology. So Helium is a vector processing capabilities on Cortex-M for signal processing and, and machine learning. So that's really pushing the capabilities of, of those microcontrollers. Uh, but also we're seeing partners as we have over there, if we want to walk over there is that uh, some of our partners, like Hymax, they're integrating the Cortex-M55, which was the previous, um, previous uh, recently announced, and uh, integrating our EFOS U55, which is a neural network uh, uh, processor, processing unit. So you can see here the demo with the, with the camera. So what is the ARM processor? It's the Cortex-M55 with the EFOS U, combined with the EFOS U55, so really targeting um, machine learning in tiny tiny applications at the endpoint, essentially. And it all goes on one SSE? It all goes on one SSE, really targeting battery, or power efficient solutions with usually battery operated applications. And they can do a lot of stuff right there. They can do all a lot the stuff of that usually is in a Cortex A with all kinds of stuff. No, Every, it's also in embedded. Everything is running at the edge in the, in the endpoints. You can do all the inferencing at the endpoints with, with, uh, for enabling uh, applications where you don't even need any cloud connectivity. All right, that's cool. Yeah. And what else? What next? You want to show? Yeah, we can show over there if we go back to. So we have uh, something we started uh, last year. Is uh, initiated is a project called ARM Virtual Hardware, and the idea here is really that you can start your software development before the hardware, the physical hardware, is actually available. So virtual hardware essentially is a, a virtual representation of a physical board. So if you think about it in the past, right, you always had software development and hardware development were kind of sequential. So it always software development to some extent started after the hardware was available. The concept of a virtual hardware now really enables developers to start with their software development before the, 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 the physical board or the hardware is actually available. So very excited about that because it enables faster time to market and uh, is for it simulation, our... emulation? What yes, is it? it's emulation. It's basically using some ARM technology we've had in the in the house for for decades, which we're using actually for our uh, modeling of the of, of SOCs. And we have another solution where we partner with another company where we're providing basically uh, modeling of full physical board. So you could actually start. Um, develop on a virtual Raspberry Pi, for example. Is it FPGA stuff, or it could be different? No. Um, what it needs to run on? It, it basically reads, uh, runs in the cloud. So you have uh, you log in into AWS, essentially. Uh, it's running on AWS instances in the cloud. So there's no physical port. There's nothing uh, involved in that. Cool. Yeah. So if you go around, there's something else I wanted to show you. It's, it's really about, as we talk about um, Edge, right? There are so many different use cases. It's, uh, right here. So many different use cases. It really uh, is, is sometimes mind blowing, right? You have all the way from 
Cortex-M, smallest microcontrollers, all the way up to, uh, as I mentioned before, right, really machine learning, or the machine vision running on, on Cortex-A based devices. And what we see, especially in the A-class world, is that often you have um, platform or software development for each individual platform, which often, is, as we look at that, we see that, um, that there are things which, which our partners or the developers have to uh, do for each individual platform, but there's opportunity really for, for reuse, right? Because we don't have to reinvent the wheel often. So what we're working here on and this specific program called System Ready is really about um, how can we, or what can we standardize uh, in, the, in the software development flow or in the software stack um, so that, we, that our partners or the ecosystem can focus their efforts on differentiation. So what we're showing here is there are five different boards, so Raspberry Pi and some, uh, Pine 4, Arduino, AD Link, and Contra. And what you can do here is you can use uh, various different um, operating systems, which basically uh, can boot on, on any of those devices. So System Ready essentially really works around the, inter, uh, the, uh, uh, the interoperability between operating systems at the, the layer between firmware and the operating system, so standardizing that that layer essentially, so that any operating system can land on any any system ready certified hardware. Nice. So interoperability. Yes, exactly. So that, that what that means, right, is really you can run any operating system on any board. So you can the demo here shows that you could use an USB stick with for example Fedora or SUSE, you plug it into that that board, it basically boots the system. You could use the same USB stick to to boot up your Raspberry Pi, for example. So this is really where we see a lot of value in this in this program, because uh, booting the system is basically much, much easier. You don't need to spend time to develop your code uh, and uh, to just boot your essentially your, your Linux uh, image on, on It's that. one of the arguments of the ARM, right? Uh, is to be interoperable, and once you have software on one, you can do the other, but now this is the next level. Absolutely. To get it even more, put a USB stick, a little bit like what some people do in the x86, and they just have a Linux and they somehow boot it. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's about the developer experience, right? And, and this is what we really want to enable with standards. That's why standards are so important for us, because it enables the, the software reuse. There, is, there are aspects of the software flow or the, the software stack which are often non-differentiating. So that's where we developed and, and collaborated with the ecosystem and developed, developed together, together the system-ready standard to really ensure that any operating system can land on any ARM system-ready certified platform. All right, cool. So that's a busy show and lots of demos. There's lots of other stuff, but we cannot cover everything, right? Yeah, no, it's super exciting to be here. It's very, very busy. It's great to see the industry being together again, and great to see so much stuff on ARM.